Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening, Rufino. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Rodrigo. Well, hello guys, good evening once again. It's really nice to see you another day, right? So, um, well, how are you doing today, guys? Is everything okay? Well, I hope every one of you is okay with good health and I hope you had a good day. So, uh, thank you very much for people that is always on time, that is part, well, it shows part of your responsibility as well. So um, I was checking some of your homework, guys, and I'm, I'm actually really proud and it makes me feel good because I see that every one of you is doing the homeworks and some of you are even putting more effort than that, like being very organized in your homeworks. That's amazing. And well, I just want to say thank you very much for your commitment because that's part of like your job, right? And what you're doing. It, it shows that you're putting some effort in what you're doing. Thank you very much for that. I saw that today, most of you sent the homework. Most of you, probably one or two or three, probably that didn't do it, but most of you did it. So that's amazing. Thank you very much for that. So um, yesterday, guys, what do you remember about what we saw yesterday? Who can tell me a little bit about it? Um, uh, yesterday, uh, we were talking about 
Mm -hmm. uh, the expressions time. Uh huh. The expressions of time. Okay. And what else do you remember? Can someone? Well, let me ask you a question in general. So let me see. If uh, what are the two common questions that we have when we want to know or when we want to ask someone about the time, guys? What are the two common questions that we have in the English language? what time is it and uh -huh. could you tell me the time what time is it and could you tell me the time mm, okay so when <laughs> uh -huh, when i when i want to ask for the time to I a stranger and I want to say that question very polite, what is the question that I have to ask guys? Could you tell me the, the hour, please? Could you tell the me the, the time? Yeah, could mm -hmm. you tell me the time, please? Thank you very much. Okay, so let me see. Um, Luis Enrique, um, how many ways or how many forms or what are the two common ways of telling the time? Do you remember that? The common way? No. Is what, are, what, are, what are the two are ways the of way? telling the time? I think the formal and informal ways. Okay, and can you okay. give me an example of an, an informal? Or what, of what do you think an informal is? Well, the, the informal is when the time is the 12 o'clock. The in, 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 in English, we can say noon or midnight. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the, the, okay. The another way, uh, it's like uh, the the clock mark the twelve and ten minutes, mm -hmm. and the the informal way, it must be a uh, ten past the twelve. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Luis. Um, according to one of the forms or the ways that we suggested it, guys, when am I going to start using the word past? From which minute? One, two, three. From the minute one to the minute 30. Thank you very much, Rodrigo. What about the word two? Everyone to 59. To 59. Okay, very good. Uh, let me see, Cecilia Melgar. If I tell you to tell, well, if I ask you to tell me, um, 850, using, using um, the second way we learned yesterday, how would you tell me that? Uh, repeat again the question, please. If I ask you to tell me 850 using the form number two that we saw yesterday, what would you tell me? Okay, uh, I tell you. Uh -huh. um, el, el two years uh, after uh, Terry um, en adelante, entonces sería it's nine to it's nine to to Nine? 
No, okay. it's ten. It's ten to nine. It's ten to nine. It's ten to nine. Very good. Okay, we're going to make an exercise right now just to, well, for me to check if you understood a little bit about it. We are only going to use form number two. Solo la forma numero dos right now. We are not going to use form number two because that's too easy. And that's the one that we use all the time. So I'm going to tell you the time right now and you will have to send through the chat once again, as similar as what we did yesterday, the time, okay? Let's start. Once y veinte. Every one of you, please go ahead. Remember, we're only going to use form number two, not number one. Once veinte. It is 20 past 11. Okay, thank you very much, Rodrigo. The only part that you're missing there in your message is el, the personal pronoun it plus the verb be. Okay, it's 20 plus 11, 20 plus 11. Okay, very good. Carlos Dubon, thank you very much as well for your participation. 20 minutes past 11, 20 past 11. Okay. Cecilia, okay. Se me hace que solo ven lo que dice el primero y a todos dicen enviar lo mismo. Uh -huh. Looks like that. Okay, so do not forget, guys. Do not forget the personal pronoun it plus the verb be. It, I mean, you can tell me 20 past 11 and I could understand what you're saying. But if you want to make that grammatically correct, what you have to always do is use the personal pronoun it plus the verb be. That's the grammatically correct way, best way possible to do it. Okay, so thank you very much. Let's see, um, six, 655. 655. Go ahead, 655. It, it, five, x fifty five. It's five to six. Mm. It repeat again. Six fifty five. Six six. Uh, uh, it 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 five to seven. Okay, it's five to seven. Yeah, thank you very much. Chicos, no podemos decir five to six porque ya habíamos dicho que when we have to, ponemos la hora que se aproxima, no la hora en que estamos. But I can see, but I can see that, that you're, okay, some of you are using seven, some of you are using six. Okay, thank you very much, guys. So um, for today's class, guys, oh, before I go to that, how do we say reloj de mano? Watch. Watch, what is the other way that we can say it? A rich watch. Graced watch, okay, very good. How do we say reloj de pared? Clock. 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 Okay, when I want to say the time exactly, once en punto, how do I say that? O'clock. O'clock. Thank you very much. Okay. What about if I say 12 del mediodía? How can I say? Uh, Todo iba bien, ¿verdad? Well, it's 12 noon, 12 a.m. 12 a.m., ok. 12 del mediodía, how could I say that? Boom. Say that again. It's noon. We can say it's noon, or what else? 
Lisette is saying it's 12 midday. Now, Lisette, sin el 12, estaría perfecto. It's midday. Okay, what about if I es say... Es hora, teacher. Ah. Yeah, yes, yes. Ah. What about if I want to say... What? Y cuarto, tres y cuarto. How do I say that? It's quarter, quarter uh, past three. It's quarter, quarter to three. It's quarter past three. Quarter past three. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, that's that's good. So, guys, for today's um, today's class, we're going to have a little bit of vocabulary. I'm pretty sure that probably some of you know a little bit about it, or you have heard a little bit, and. Um, well, today we're going to learn about vocabulary of daily routines. Things that you do all the time, things that you do during the day. So we're going to learn that. I'm pretty sure that some of you already know that. So it's going to be kind of a refreshment for you. Okay, so let's start with today's class. Just let me share the screen with you. All right, can everyone see it? Yes, teacher. All right. So as you can see, guys, it's vocabulary about daily routines. Vocabulary about daily routines. Daily routines. So first of all, we're going to try to learn or we're going to know or to have a brief meaning of what a routine is. I will need two volunteers. Volunteer number one will help me to read part number one. And volunteer number two will help me to read this part. Jenny, I see that you raise your hand. Please go ahead and help me with part number one. And Adriana, okay, is, part number two. Go ahead, I'm what sorry. Is a, <laughs> what I'm, is a routine? Uh -huh. A routine is the usual series of things that you do at a particular a particular time. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. It says a routine is a usual series of things that you do at a particular time. Okay, so thank you very much, Jenny. Let's go ahead and part number two. Help me, Adriana, please. A routine is also the practice or uh, regularly doing things in a fixed order. Okay, it's regularly, as it says, doing things in a fixed order. So it's something that obviously we do every single day. What do we? What do you do? The first thing that you do, you wake up, then you get out of bed. You know, those are routines that we have every single day. You have breakfast, you eat breakfast, you prepare breakfast, you take a, um, what? You take a bath and you watch television or probably you exercise. So those things or that part of the vocabulary is what we are going to see today, guys. So here we have a big list. And what we're going to do, guys, we're going to be focusing on pronunciation today. Why? Because I'm pretty sure that some of you already know this vocabulary. So I want to be sure that you, uh, besides knowing the meaning of the vocabulary, you know how to pronounce them, okay? So we are going to try to do that. Every one of you is going to participate today. So. First of all, pay attention to the way that I'm going to pronounce it. I will pronounce the word three times. Okay? So pay attention. No vaya a ser que cuando les pregunten me la terminen pronunciando mal, ¿verdad? So pay attention. All right? So let's start. Remember, I will um, repeat each one of the words three times so you can listen to the pronunciation. Let's start. Number one. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Number two, hang clothes. 
hang clothes. Number three, iron the clothes. Iron the clothes. Iron the clothes. The next one, make the bed. Make the bed. Go to bed or to make it simpler, we can say go to, go to bed. So we can say go to bed or go to bed if you want to speak faster. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth. Drive to work or we can say drive to work drive to work or drive to work that's up to you guys if you feel comfortable saying drive to work it's okay but if you think that you can say drive to work that's fine it's up to you get home get home take a bath take a bath brush your hair Brush your hair. Surf the net. Surf the net. Play with friends. So, with this first part of this list of routines, guys, does any one of you have any question? Do you understand all of them? No, teacher, I have a question. What is net? Net? What's mean? When we uh -huh. say surf the net, navegar en el internet. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other question? La pronunciación de brush the teeth. La de Bra después de wake up. Brush the teeth. Normally, Normalmente, chicos, when we have a letter T and a letter H, normally in English, not always, but normally, we are going to pronounce that as the sound of the letter Z, in, like in Spanish. La vamos a pronunciar cuando veamos una TH casi siempre como pronunciamos la Z en español. Brush the teeth. Just... It's like a little sound that goes through your teeth. Uh -huh. The same as this one, bath, bath. Okay. Is there any other question? No questions. Okay. Silence is more than a thousand words. So let's move on. Okay, now let me see. With this part, with this first part, I will need uh, Maria Veronica to help me read the first three. Go ahead. Do the laundry. Uh -huh. Hang the clothes. Uh -huh. I do the clothes. Okay, close. 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 Okay, thank you very much, Maria, Veronica. Go ahead, Rufino, help me with the three following ones. Make the bed, mm -hmm. go, go to bed, mm -hmm. wake up. Wake up, thank you very much. Maria Luz de Nieto, the next three, please. Okay, brush the teeth, dry to work, uh -huh. get home. Thank you very much, Tatiana Pleites. The last four. Bath, brush. I cannot listen to you, Tatiana. It's kind of an interference. Probably, okay, probably your earphones are not working today. Don't worry, it's kind of an interference. We cannot listen to you properly. So, Rodrigo Chicas, go ahead. Please help me with the last four. 
take a bath, brush your hair, surf the net, play with friends. Can you say this word once again? Take a bath. Bath with con la Z al final. Z del español. Bath. 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 Okay. Perfect. So now Thank let's you. move. Let's move on to this part. This part right here. I will repeat it once again, guys, two or three times. Okay. Go to school. Go to school, or you can say go to school. Okay. The two ways, go to school or go to school. Go shopping, go shopping, exercise, wash the car, get dressed, get dressed, go out with a friend, go out with a friend, take pictures, take pictures, play the guitar, play the guitar, no es guitar, es guitar, okay? Play the guitar, water the plant, water the plant, go for a walk, go for a walk. ¿Se recuerdan chicos la vez pasada que teníamos, how do we pronounce this? Do, do we pronounce the letter L? Pronunciamos la letra L acá. No. No teacher. No. We Not say teacher. No. Walk. No. Go for a walk. Okay. Wow. Work. Have breakfast and have lunch. Okay. Por ahí escuché a Lisette. So thank you very much, Lisette. Go ahead and help me with the first three. <laughs> Go to school. Uh -huh. Go shopping. Mm -hmm. Exercise. Thank you very much. Let me see. Um, um, let me see who else. Stella, go ahead. The following three. Wash the car. Mm -hmm. Get dressed. Get dressed. Dress. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go out with a fan. With a friend. Thank you very much, Patricia Veronica. The following three. Take, uh, take pictures. Pictures. Take pictures. Mm -hmm. Play the guitar. Excellent. Water the plant. Water the plant. Thank you very much. <laughs> Melida Vimas. The last four. Okay, play the guitar, what no. is the plan? No, this one, starting from here. Can you see the okay. red? Go for a walk. Go for, uh, go for a walk. Go for oh. Well, actually, I, well, I didn't listen that well to you. Go probably. for a walk. You're having connection issues over there. Yes, uh, I have a problem, teacher. Okay, don't worry. It's okay. So, Stephanie, Priscilla, go ahead. The last four. Go for a walk, please. Stephanie, Priscilla. Go for a walk. Mm -hmm. Así, go yes. for a walk. Go work, ahead. Mm -hmm. Have breakfast and have lunch. Have lunch. Okay. Thank you very much. With part number two, guys, is there any question? No, teacher. Okay. So let's move on. So it means that you understood pretty much everything that we had in part two. So we, we, we have another two lists. These ones are easier because probably some of you, well, most of you already know, have dinner, make dinner, fall the laundry, serve the net. Well, we repeat once again that. Feed the dog, feed the dog. 
take a taxi, wait for the bus, paint the picture. In this one, we have two differences, guys. In the UK or with a British accent, they say have a break, but in American or in the USA specifically, they will say take a break, okay? So let me see, Andrea Renderos, go ahead and help me with the first three. Have dinner, make dinner, fold the laundry. Thank you very much. Uh, Carlos Dubon, go ahead, the following three. Sure, Janet, see the dog, take a taxi. Thank you. Jacqueline Pineda, the last three. Yeah. Um, wait for the bus, paint a picture, mm -hmm. have a break or take a break. Thank you very much. Is there any question with that part, guys, or it's completely understandable? Teacher, uh, what's mean fold the laundry? Fold the laundry. Uh, it's, I will explain you in English, so I will try it if you understand me. It's what you do when your clothes are completely dry and you fold them. You fold them. Do you understand? Yes, thanks. Okay, very good. Any other question? No questions, okay. So let's move on. We have walk the dog, take out the rubbish, sweep the floor, rake the leaves, read the news, clean the window, cut the grass, do the dishes and paint the house. Any questions so far with this part? Yes, uh, uh, rake, what is rake? Rake, for example, when you have a big tree and you rake the leaves. Uh, I don't understand, teacher. In uh, Spanish, please. Can, can, does any one of you have any idea, like when you have a big tree and you, how do you say that? Well, actually, podar. I'm sorry? Podar. Perdón, podar. Podar, yeah, that's exactly the, the word I was looking for, yes. Podar las hojas or ramas in that case. Oh, okay, thanks. All right, so let me see, Estela Lara, go ahead and help me with the first three. The first three. Clean the window? No, 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 the first three. Ah. Well, take up. Take no, no, no. Out. How do we say this word? Walk. 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 the floor. Walk. 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 Luis Enrique, go ahead and help me with the following three, please. Clean the window. No, cut no. the grass. From here, I'm sorry. Uh, sweep the floor. Mm -hmm. Break the leaves. Read the news. Read the news. Thank you very much. And Cristian Marroquín, help me with the last four. Clean the window, cut the grass, mm -hmm. do the dishes, mm -hmm. paint the house. Thank you very much, Christian. So if there's no questions, guys, as you can see, we have a lot of vocabulary today. I do understand hey. that some of these ones teacher. are... Do you have any question? Hey, teacher, what is the difference... Uh, between trash with rubbish. Well, trash, rubbish. trash and rubbish are the same. 
They are the oh. same thing. There's no difference. In English, as in Spanish, we have synonyms. Do you know what a synonym is? Synonymous. Oh. So it means uh -huh. that they are different words, but they, they means the same thing. There's no difference. So you can say trash, you can say rubbish, and they're both the same thing. There's no difference. Okay, thank you. All right, so guys, uh, as I was saying, I know that some of these are really easy for you because those are very useful things or things that we, use, that we do every single day. So they are not that complicated, but some of these ones are probably new or in this case, the pronunciation sometimes for you is not clear. So um, what I'm also trying to do with you guys is not make your uh, pronunciation perfect, but start working on your pronunciation because uh, it's very important that you're going to another level, which requires a really good pronunciation. So here we have uh, some sentences or some examples using some of the vocabularies that we just saw. For example, and do the laundry, go ahead and Stella Lara and help me reading the first, the first sentence, please. I offer mm -hmm. to la do, do the laundry on Saturday morning. Thank you very much. Luis Enrique, number two. Uh, you should hang the cloth when the sun shines. Thank you very much. Next one, Cecilia Lara, go ahead. Melgar, I'm sorry, Cecilia Melgar, my bad. Okay. Um, what? Uh, the, the first or the second? No, the first one. Okay. Uh, iron the clothes. My mom loves ironing the clothes. Thank you very much. The next one, it's for Lisette Montoya. We, we are taught to make the bed after getting up. Okay, we are taught to make the bed after getting up. If guys... Taught or sought? No, that's taught. Like T-O-T, taught. Taught. Yeah, we're taught to make the bed after getting up. Okay, so the next one goes for Christian Marroquin. Go to bed. Go to bed late. We have bad effect to our health. Okay, go to bed late. We'll have bad effect to our health. The next one goes to Rufino. Let's go, Rufino. Wake, wake up. Mm -hmm. I often wake up at six o'clock in the morning. Six o'clock in the morning. Thank you very much. The next one goes to Tatiana Pleites. The doctors advise us to brush the teeth twice a day. The, doctor, the doctors advise us to brush the teeth twice a day. Thank you very much, Tatiana. The next one goes to Patricia Veronica. My father sometimes drives to work instead of taking a bus. Perfect, excellent. So the next one goes to Rubia Franco. Okay, if say to go at home. It's time to get home. Thank you very much. The next it's one goes time. to Maria Luz de Nieto. When exactly, when did you last take a bath? Okay, thank you very much. And the next one goes to Andrea Renderos. Do not brush your hair with too much force. Do not brush your hair with too much force. Thank you. 
The next one goes to Rodrigo Chicas. The short, the next, the net, looking for ways to study. study. Surf, excellent, very good. The next one goes to, I can see someone's thing. I can see someone that says Galaxy A10, but I really don't know the name. Who are you? I think it's me. What's your name? Alejandra Magana. Okay, Alejandra, go ahead. The last one. Okay, one day I was playing with my friends. I accidentally broke a window in the store near our home. Okay, very good. So, guys. According to all this vocabulary that we just saw, is there any questions that you have so far? No questions? All right. No. No. All right. Too easy, right? So let's go. So today's guys, as usual, I will force you to speak. Lo vamos a forzar a hablar. So, but now, what I'm going to do, I will read it first. Primero lo voy a leer yo, so you can remember the pronunciation, okay? Let's start. Number one, it says, sun, well, while I'm saying the pronunciation, you can probably take a picture or make a screenshot while I'm talking, okay? So, San Steven Hotel. How can I help you? Hello, I would like to know the price of a single room, please. 30 pounds per night. Is breakfast included? Yes, breakfast is included. Okay, then I want a single room for four nights. When would you like your reservation? From Tuesday, May 10th to Thursday, May 13th. That will be 120 pounds. Under what name should I make this reservation? On behalf of David Miller. Your reservation has been made. You can pay upon arrival. See you soon. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Okay. This is conversation number one. So let's go to conversation number two. Pay attention to the pronunciation because I'm going to be checking in your groups to see how you pronounce. Okay, so it says, hi, David, it's nice to meet you. Hi, Alex, nice to meet you too. I do not speak English very well, but I'm learning. No problem, I'm here to help you. How old are you? I'm 30. Where do you live? I live in New York. Awesome. Awesome. It's always been my dream to visit your city. I want to learn more about it. That's a very exciting place with a lot of things to see and do. That sounds awesome. I definitely want to go there. First, I want to become fluent. I'm sure you will, don't worry. What do you do? I'm a history student. What about you? What do you do for a living? I teach math at school. Oh, that's very cool. Listen, I have to go. Let's talk again soon, okay? Sure, talk to you later, okay? So those are the two conversations that we're going to have right now, guys. And plus this practice. So you can take a picture right now or screenshot. You let me know so I can move to the next one. Are we done? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Okay, and that is the last yes, one. Teacher. Okay, that's the last one. So right now we're gonna go to the breakout room, guys. Please, I want everyone to participate, please. 
Ok, let me see. ¿Me puede poner la anterior, por favor, que no le pude tomar la captura? Which one? You mean this one? Is it okay now? Yes. Okay. So please guys, the other ones, try to join your rooms and I will be checking each one of you there. Estela Lara and Veronica de Martinez, what's going on? Are you having any problem trying to connect with your groups? Sí, no puedo entrar. All right. Let me see, let me try to move you to this one. Okay, try to do it now. What about you, Stella? Oh, Stella, oh. Okay, let me see. Stella, hello. Hello, hello. Are you there, Stella? Hello, hello. Well, I think you're not there. No me puedo conectar al grupo. What happened, Stella? San Esteban Hotel, how can we help you? Hello, I would like to know the price of a single room, please. 30, 30 pounds per night. Is breakfast included? Yes, breakfast is included. Okay, then I want a single room with, uh, for four, four nights. When would you like your reservation? From Tuesday, uh, May. 10, 10 to Saturday, May 14. That will be uh, 100, 120 pounds. A single room, please. Uh, 30 pounds per night. Great class included. Yes, breakfast included. Okay, then one a single room for four nights. When would you like your reservation? From Tuesday, my then to Saturday, Saturday, my uh, my fourteen. That will be one hundred twenty pounds. Under what name should I make this reservation? On behalf of David Miller. Okay, your reservation has been made. You can pay open arrival. See you soon. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Okay, next part, next couple. 
Okay, me. Uh -huh. You can ¿Sí? go with me. This meeting okay. is being recorded. Conmigo. Usted comienza o comienzo yo. Let me see. Okay. I will be clerk. Okay. San okay. Esteban Hotel. How can we help you? Eh, yo voy la segunda, ¿verdad? Yes, you will be David. David, eh, David hello. I would like to know the place of single room place. Okay, 30 pounds per night. David, it's bread. Breakfast includes that. Yes, breakfast is included. Okay, then I want a single room for. When would you? Y Andrea Rendero. Um, puede ser. ¿Quién, David? ¿Quién falta? ¿Quién falta? Stephanie y Tatiana. Vaya. San Esteban Hotel, how can we help you? Hello, I would like to know the price of a single room. Thirty pounds per night. Is a breakfast include, included? Yes, breakfast is included. Oh, you want a single room for four night. We would you like your reservation? Front. La segunda. ¿Quién va a ser? Hi, David. It's nice to meet you. Um, hi, Alex. Nice to meet you too. I don't speak. I do not speak um, English very well, but I am. Oops. <laughs> no problem. I'm here Alex. to help you. How old are you? I'm thirty. Where do you live? I'm living in New York. Awesome. It's always been my dream to visit your city. I want to learn more about it. It's a very exciting place with a lot, uh, a lot of things to see and do. That sounds awesome. I definitely want, want to go there. First, I want to become fluent. I'm sure you will. Don't worry. What do you do? I'm a history study, a student. What about you? What do you do for a living? I teach math at school. Oh, that's good. Are you? No, for a living? I teach math at the school. Oh, that's very cool. Listen, I have to go. Let's talk again soon, okay? Sure. Talk to you later. Oh, beautiful, you real. Me. Other person in help is or if you want you have 
Falta I uno. Hay da ¿no? David. Hay yes. David. Me, hay David. Y Alex, el other. Ok. Hi, uh -huh. David. It's nice to meet you. Hi, Alex. Nice to meet you too. I do not speak English very well, but I am learning. No problem. I'm here to help you. How old are you? Uh, I am three. Where do you live? I live in New York. Awesome. It's always been my dream to visit your city. I want to learn more about it. It's a very city place with a lot of things to see and do. That sounds awesome. I identically want to go there. First, I want to be friend. It's my turn with... This meeting is being recorded. With who? I think it will be a friend. Let me see. I'm just trying to check. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it is, it was Stella. She was not able to, to access to the, to the group, but she's definitely, well, she could access like a minute ago. So she's already there, but thank you very much. So let's, let's keep doing what you're doing. Let's go. I want to see. Okay. I will start. I, I will be uh, Alex. Uh, ¿Dónde íbamos? Okay. Ah, Rubia. Rubia ¿Sí? Franco. ¿Sí? Okay. I will be Alex. You Alex. will be David. Yeah? You, okay. Hi, David. It's nice to meet you. Yo voy en, tú dices, hi, Alex, nice yeah, to meet yeah, you. Yeah. I do not speak English very well, but I learn. No problem. I'm here to help you. How old are you? I'm 20. Where do you live? for a living. I teach math at school. Oh, that's very cool. Listen, I have to go. Let's start a guy some. Okay. Sure. Take you take to you later. Maria Veronica, do we pronounce the letter L in El Verbo Talk? Remember, we do not pronounce the letter L. We do not say talk. We say talk, okay? Talk. Talk. Okay. Okay, very talk. good. Keep on doing what you're doing. I want to see. You finished already? Hello? Yes, we finished. Thank you. All right, so let's do the exercises then. Con la actividad de completar el, completar el vocabulario. Ok, perfecto. Esa no la tengo. No tengo esa captura. Yo tampoco. Yo creo que si la tengo, déjeme ver si la puedo compartir. No me deja porque tiene la porque me dice que ya se está compartiendo. Ya lo quito. Ay, 
Okay. Um, last. Uh, with, with with first, the second walk, walk the dog. Walk the dog. Is the it is one. Yes. Number eight. Do, do you see? Do you uh, see? Number eight. Uh, walk the dog. Uh, three. Brush my teeth. Brush my second. teeth. The second. second. Uh, second. Uh, okay. Second. Brush my teeth. Make make the bed. Okay, guys, did you complete all the exercises? Did you complete yes, teacher. them? Yes, did you? Okay, yes. very good. I think, yes. All right. So we're just going to wait just the other ones to come back to the meeting. All right. So, uh, well, I was checking all the groups, guys. I still listen to some things or some pronunciations that are not correct but i think that we're going to be working on that the purpose of of making the conversation is for you to practice for you to speak and obviously try to pronunciate the words how do we say the number primero guys how do we say that it's okay christian no problem so how do we say the number primero in english how first, do we say first first Okay, yeah, I heard some of you, while I was checking the groups, I heard some of you saying first. We do not say first, we say first, like a letter E, first. first. Okay, also some of you saying walk and talk. Remember, walk. we do not pronounce the letter L. Say walk and Ooh. talk. Okay, so keep those little things for you. So next time that we practice that, so you already remember that. But in general, most of you are participating. That's something very good. So that's going to be all for today's guys. There's no homework for tomorrow. ¿verdad? Estamos libres para mañana. No homework. So uh, <laughs> yeah, that's cool, right? <laughs> no homework. Yeah, okay. yeah, but it, it was really good, guys. Once again, I'm really proud. It makes me happy to see that all of you are putting part of your effort in the homeworks. I see some of you are very organized, bien organizado en la tarea y todo. That's amazing. Keep on doing that, okay? That's perfect. So thank you so much once again for attending to the class, guys. That's all for today. So see you tomorrow by the same time. And the same. Yes, you have a question. Siempre va a compartir la diapositiva para poder copiarlas con el cuaderno. If you want to, I, I could do it. Yes, I can send it to you after the class. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Take so if there's no any other question, guys, that's all for today. 
Thank you very much and have a good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye.